Hello YouTube friends. Today day a 5 euro flashlight like this one not only has a very powerful LED, but also has an internal circuit that allows it to change up to 5 modes. Full power. Medium power. Low power. Strobe. SOS. Today I want to show you some examples of off-the-shelf circuits and components that allow us to build our own circuit for a multi-mode LED flashlight. Some time ago I posted several videos trying to recreate a similar circuit using the CN5711 LED driver. This IC is very easy to use and has great potential, but needs a microcontroller to drive it and manage the different modes. If you are lazy like me, the easiest solution is to buy a kit like this one. The kit includes a LED driver, a fully fake Cree X6 LED, and a lens. Soldering the components together and adding a switch does the trick. Connecting the power supply set at 4.2 volts to the circuit shows that at full power it delivers about 500 milliamps. Not bad. At half power it delivers about 300 milliamperes and 180 at a quarter of the power. It also has a strobe and SOS function. It's basically a similar circuit to the one in my flashlight. I wanted to let you know why I made this video. Last week, I found these two mysterious ICs by chance in my workshop. After some searching, I found out that they are called YX8253 and YX8233. They seem to be a cheap and easy solution to make wonderful flashlights. Before I get started, I just wanted to remind you that if you want to support my work, you can do so by following my YouTube channel. Each video description includes links to my social profiles and the products I use. By clicking on the links and purchasing the products, you can help me continue making videos. Thanks so much! I don't know why I have these ICs. Maybe I found them in a stock of components I bought a long time ago. The first IC is called YX8233S. The component is really tiny. It has only three pins. The only thing I found on the internet is this very minimal datasheet of only one page. It's not very clear to me, since I don't speak Chinese. The schematic is the only clear thing in the datasheet. It consists of the YX8233 IC, the LED, a resistor, a switch, and a 3 to 4.5 volt source. This is perfect for a single cell lithium battery. To get more information, I tried to translate the datasheet. You can find the translations on my GitHub. As we can read YX8233 is a triple function flashlight LED driver IC that requires only one capacitor. It can drive from 3 to 5 watts LEDs with 3 AA batteries or one lithium battery. It can change the output mode by switching off and on. The output modes are full brightness, 25% brightness, and strobe. Efficiency up to 92%. Not bad. Now I need to make this small component breadboard friendly. I just need a small piece of single-sided copper board. This is the first time I have had to mount such a small component on a prototype board. In general it is not difficult, but it would have been better to use a magnifying glass or a microscope. Subscribe to my telegram channel so that in 10 years I will be rich and famous and have the money to buy a 60 euro Chinese microscope. Here is the final result. I reproduced the schematic shown on the datasheet on the breadboard. Here is the component we just soldered. To test the circuit, I am using this 150 milliamp LED.
Let's try to power up the circuit. By pressing the switch, the LED turns on and changes modes correctly. The very strange thing is that the currents seem really very low compared to what I imagined. The maximum current does not exceed 40 milliamps. Very strange, don't you think? Probably the reason is that the breadboard is a bit old. I tried to solder the whole circuit on a small board. As you can see, avoiding the breadboard allows much higher currents. Up to 240 milliamps at full power and 50 milliamps at a quarter power. In reality, 240 milliamps is also too much for a 150 milliamp LED. It would be more correct to use a resistor to limit the lead current as recommended in the datasheet. Cool. I don't know about you but I've enjoyed it so far. Time to try this other tiny component. It's called YX8253. This time the datasheet is a full two pages long and unfortunately always in Chinese. The general application scheme is understandable, as in the previous case. Again, I tried to translate it. This I see is a three-function LED driver. It can switch functions with a flick of a switch. It can drive LEDs from 1 to 5 watts. The circuit only needs a capacitor. It can be powered by three AA batteries or a single lithium battery. The three modes are full brightness, 25% brightness, blinking at 8 Hz. Holding down the button activates the SOS function. The component has six pins, but only four are used. The typical application scheme is similar to the previous one. We have our IC, a capacitor, and of course the LED. The only difference with the YX8233 is that here we do not have a classic on-off switch but a momentary switch. In fact, here we have a pin dedicated to the button. I remembered that I have a very handy adapter for this component. Even if it is for an 8-pin IC, no problem, it will fit our YX8253 perfectly. After half an hour of trying, I realized that the adapter was completely wrong. Shit. In the meantime, the memory of the phone with which I record the video also ran out. Long story short, I managed to make this piece of punk art. It's not the most elegant solution, but I hope it works. Once I finish this video, I'm going to buy a kilo of SMD to dip adapters. I've replicated the schematic from the datasheet. You can see the capacitor, the tactile switch, and of course our punk artwork. When I turn on the circuit, I notice that despite the old breadboard, the supply current is just about perfect for my LED. It's 100 milliamps. Even the other modes work smoothly and fast. This seems to be a higher quality component than the previous one. Holding down the button activates the SOS mode, but you won't see it because I forgot to record it. Yuppie! I'm glad I was able to make sense of these components that I found in the lab. I think I'll include them in a PCB shortly. Thanks for listening to me so far. Before I finish, I have a message for you. Hi, I'm Dario and this is my real voice. I want to thank all the followers who suggested me to avoid the robotic voice. Sadly, I don't feel ready to use my real voice yet because... Uh, 
I don't know, because I feel my pronunciation is not okay. It's not very fluent, I think. If you would like to help me, we could arrange video chats, uh, video, video call with you to have conversation to unlock my English. And of course, uh, we can talk about our DIY projects, about electronics and about whatever you want. If you are interested, please uh, uh, send me a message on, on my Instagram profile. And, and that's it. I think this is the, the end of the video. I send you a big hug and, uh, and remember to follow all my social media profiles so I will become rich and famous and I can improve my, my crappy workshop. Peace and love uh, and see you soon. Ciao ragazzi!